Creating a laser eye effect isn't a really difficult or complex technique. I mean, there's an effect called beam which gets you on the right track straight away. But you can get more creative with it by stacking a number of other effects with it. It's a really great effect for learning how to utilise the tracking function, parenting and null objects. All really boring sounding stuff, but really powerful all the same. Basically, null objects are invisible layers and are great for when you want to parent your layer to another object without the object itself being present in the scene. Motion tracking allows you to track objects to an element in a scene that may move. Parenting allows you to assign a layer to another layer so it utilises that layer's properties. In the laser eye technique, we'll basically track the motion of Arlo's eye and apply it to a null object. We can then use this null object parent the hotspot of the eye effect as well as the laser beams themselves. So in a sense, whenever our character or the camera moves, the hotspots and the beams will move exactly where we want them to. And just for fun, I've also tracked in a bit of a bulging eye effect. So let's take a look at how we achieve this. We film Kung Fu Arlo in front of a green screen. And I've pulled one of the images from the Produce texture packs and used it as a background. So in a composition, I've created two motion tracks. The first for when Arlo opens his eyes and he summons his laser powers. The second for when the beam's actually going to come out. You then want to apply that tracking data to a new null object by simply going to the layer menu and selecting layer new null object. We'll need two null objects, one for the left and one for the right. Just use the anchor point property to move them into place. And if we scroll along the timeline, we can see they are tracked into place. To make the hotspot, I create a new layer and apply a number of effects, including a cell pattern, circle, tritone, and a glow filter. But you could get more tricky by using fractal noise or particular, or anything else you like, really. Get online and download the project to see how I've created this look. Here's a nice little trick. With the left hotspot selected, go to the parenting column and select the null object you created. Now when we scroll through, the hotspot tracks where the null object goes, which is wherever the motion tracking data tells it to go. Fine tune your animation with some feathering, scaling and the opacity, and repeat it for the right eye. Like I said before, I've also created a bulge effect to just add more distortion to Arlo's eyes and give it more of a cartoon feel. For the laser beam, I've created a new solid that is a thousand by a thousand and named it left beam and made it black. To make the laser beam effect, I went up to the effects menu and selected the generate beam option. And by animating the start and end points within this effect, I can simulate the look of the laser beam coming out of Arlo's eyes and across the screen. And remember, we track the second half of this scene to apply to this part of the effect. We created a new null object and assigned that motion tracking data to it. So we then parent this laser beam to that null object, just as we did with the hotspot. Adjust the laser beam's anchor point if you need to. Now you can't argue that we've created a laser beam, but I do reckon we can improve it by adding a few more effects. Firstly, I'm going to add the vector blur, and secondly, some fractal noise. With the fractal noise, I've alt clicked the evolution stopwatch and created an expression that tells the effect to evolve over time. I've changed the blend mode to screen and the fractal type to swirly. So change the blend mode to additive, duplicate it and just rename it right eye. Then parent that layer to the other null object and you're done. Sit back and enjoy your animation.